Welcome back to a brand new video and today I'm going to be talking about should the DCEU um, reboot, reset. Now, what inspired me to make this video is because of a big rumor. Well, it's not a big rumor, but it's a rumor. Comcast comic book made a video on it. Um, but a rumor is the DCEU resetting, rebooting, whatever you want to call it. Before I get into the video, please give me a big thumbs up. You know what to do on that side. But go check out my new song. It's on Spotify. My artist name, stage name, whatever you want to call it, is Wes Young. Um, so go, and I am verified on Spotify. So go over there, check the new song out. I got two other brand new songs on the way. So yeah. Can't wait uh, for those other two songs to be out in my big project, which I will be announcing on YouTube in a few days. But to the video, should the DCEU reboot, and is there any truth to this rumor? Well, let's start with some of the truth. Does this rumor could be re well real? The first rumor is Henry Cavill. Um probably not playing Superman anymore because he is going to the Witcher series. The other thing that could be true is we the, you know the other thing could be true is Ezra Miller, the Flash. Um he's gonna be a long term actor in the Fantastic Beast. And we know there's not gonna be a Flash movie for some time, which is very disappointing. So I really wanted a Flash movie. Now, here comes the territory that I, this is what I think DCEU, the cinematic universe, whatever you want to call it, should do. They should not reboot, well they should reboot, but they should reboot in a classy way. Now we talk talking about reboot in a classy way, well what I mean is, um, in my opinion is, take the foundation of the DCEU, it's already established and keep it but work around some things like Aquaman's a success like it got a stand you know it's got a standard run in China it's going to make 1 billion probably over 1 billion so it's ranking up so probably Shazam it's going to be um a big runaway success you know we all thought Wonder Woman was their you know big runaway success but looks like shit, Shazam. Looks like Aquaman um, is going to be their big runaway success, which is great because Aquaman is a fantastic movie. Um, going on to that subject, how could the DCEU even reboot with keeping their you know stable franchises intact? Well, here's what they should do, in my opinion. The first thing they should do is keep Jason Momoa as Aquaman. You keep Jason Momoa as Aquaman. There you go. You know, you have a trilogy for Aquaman. You give Aquaman a trilogy. And you give him a trilogy. Wonder Woman, you keep Gal Gadot's Wonder Woman. You give um, Gal Gadot her own trilogy as Wonder Woman. There you go. And then you start getting, you know, lesser known characters. And like a blue, there's a rumor of a Blue Beetle movie. Yeah, you can give us a Blue Beetle movie, you can give us the um the Suicide Squad 2 movie, you can give us the um You can give us little side movies like that. Uh, we know Doom Patrol is called be on the you know, a TV series, but still trying to figure out a way to make a Doom Patrol movie. Do stuff like that and the Batman. Now this is the big thing is what you gonna do with Batman. In my opinion, Matt Reeves is a great director, but things seems like they're shuffling around in the DC EU. I really want Ben Affleck to have his own solo Batman movie. Like he should, he deserves it. But at the end of the day, it's one of our fault that we have not gotten to see a Ben Affleck standalone um, Batman movie. That's one of our fault. So. In my opinion, 
do not cause confusion or bite and they say you're rebooting is have this Batman you know have this Batman movie a prequel to Ben Affleck's Batman you know you get to know more about this character Batman you can find a person who is around the height and the build of Ben Affleck when he was younger so you can have you know this Batman movie that's probably going to come out in 2020 or 2022 can be a prequel you have this Batman prequel and don't come out with another Batman movie for another three or four or or at the least six years that way you can go ahead and reboot the character so basically should the DCEU reboot yes and no um, in my opinion they should find ways around not rebooting I think that's the smartest way it's just to standalone movies um, you know, say yes, some stuff is canon, but try to keep it like how Aquaman did. You only heard one mention of Justice League, and that's it. Stuff like that, and not really forcing these connections into the films anymore. Just blatantly reboot, but not fully reboot. Like Aquaman will have three trilogies, Jason Momoa, Wonder Woman, she will have three trilogies. Give us Suicide Squad 2 earlier than we thought. Go ahead and give us Blue Beetle. Give us these lesser known characters, like I said, Blue Beetle. Um, stuff we don't expect, like Suicide Squad 2. We don't expect that to happen, but give it, but give it to us anyway. That way, these movies, they can be connected, because they are. But they don't have to be. You don't have to mention the first Suicide Squad. You can just have like one mention of the first Suicide Squad, and that's it. You know what I mean? So, the DCEU should not reboot, but they should soft reboot. I think that's the most brilliant way to do it, is keep your main actors that want to stay in, that need to stay, like Jason Momoa's awful, man. Give him a trilogy. Go ahead and sign him on for some more movies. Wonder Woman, same thing. Um... So just go ahead and do stuff like that. It's probably the smartest move DC could do. But you're going to have to give us a slate. And I think San Diego, San Diego, San Diego Comic Con will be the perfect, perfect time, perfect time for DC Warner Brothers to release a slate. Warner Brothers needs to get a slate out for these DC films, at least a two-year slate. I will prefer at least four years late. I say San Diego Comic Con because they have from this month um, to June. Yeah. Until when San Diego Comic Con is, they have to then to come up with a slate. To me, that's what they should do. And what I think they should do, and this is my opinion only, we know Gotham is about to end. We know Gotham is about to end, which is sad, but it's not. I kind of expected Gotham to be canceled for a lot of reasons, not getting into that. But what you could do, and I've thought about this, you know, you don't want to reboot Batman again. You don't want to reboot the DCEU so soon. But what are you going to do when Gotham is canceled and after Matt Reeves' Batman comes out? Just move Batman to TV. Where that be moving Batman. You know. Give Batman his own TV show on the DC. Um, um, streaming service. Or Netflix. Or put it on Hulu. Or put it on Amazon. Or put it on. Don't put it on Fox. Um, put it on um, HBO or Showtime. Or Sci-Fi. Or FX. There could be a million channels. And streaming services that can do that. So that, to me, that's a possibility. You know, once Matt Reeves' Batman comes out, Batman is not going to have any more movies, at least for another three or four years, because he will have his own TV show. There will be a lot for 10 or 12 seasons. That way you can have this cinematic universe, which is storing loosely not to connect anymore, you know be its own thing and to me that's smart business because 
You're not saying it's going to be a reboot. You're still, you know, Jason Momoa is still going to be Aquaman. Yalakto is still going to be Wonder Woman. Um, Matt Reeves' Batman is going to be a prequel. So that's understandable why you have to get a new Batman. Then Batman will move to TV. Um, you know, then Batman will move to TV. I see some problems there with some fans. But overall, that's probably the smartest thing. WB can do with the cinematic universe is just change their view of things and then like this DCEU go until 2021 2022 let this DCEU universe go to about 2024 let it go to then and then cancel the DCEU I don't want the DCEU to be cancelled but Maybe WB has their little ducks in the row. Um, you know, they've seen Wonder Woman, they've seen Aquaman, and probably Shazam. The studio can't get their grubby paws into the movie. You know what I mean? So maybe they will learn. Maybe they learn their lesson and when they start a new cinematic universe, let's say 15 years from now, they would know what to do and what not to do. So that's my thoughts on. Um, you know, is the DCEU going to reboot, um, soft reboot? I think, yes, they are going to soft reboot, but I don't think they're going to do it the way I want them to do it or the way you want them to do it. They're just going to do it a sloppy way. Maybe, we don't know. And could they be, you know, I, I feel like right now the DCEU is very up in the air. It's very up in the air. Um... But yeah, do let me know in the comments below. What do you think DCEU is planning? Do you think they're planning a reboot? Do you feel like there's some leverage to this rumor? Um, I definitely think there is. So if you did enjoy the video and stuck around to the end, please give me a big thumbs up. Two likes is all I ask. Please subscribe and go check out my song. It's called Taste of Blood. It's on Spotify. Um, it's on Spotify right now. I would try to post the link to that song or just my Spotify in general in the description below. So, yeah, go check out my new song. Go check out my Spotify and all that. I got two new songs releasing. That's going to be on a whole nother video. I'm going to catch y'all in the next video. Have a great day.